Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and welcome to a short video where I show you behind the scenes of how I created this image right here. This image um, is something that I made using Cinema 4D and Photoshop and my own photography as well. Um, and it all started off with my daughter, my five-year-old daughter, making a sketch on the kitchen table with her crayons. And this was the sketch that she made. And so I kind of saw it and I asked her what was going on in this, this little drawing that she had and she explained it to me. And uh, she said that this is her right here. So this is a picture of her. Um, and she's in a field of very colorful flowers. And she's got this robot friend right here. And the robot friend is holding a basket. And she is putting uh, flowers that she is picking. And she's putting them into the basket. And so that's a pretty cool picture that she drew. And she asked me if I could turn it into a real picture. Um, and so she knows what I do. And she knows that I should be able to do it. And so I said I would try. And uh, that's what we... Um, that's what we did this weekend. But let me go ahead and show you kind of my process for creating this picture. So when I see this, you know, I think about all the things that I need. So I've got grass down here. If I can spell it right. Grass down here. Um, and so I need to be able to have a picture of grass um, or some type of landscape. And then we also have all of these flowers that are coming out of um, the grass. So it's kind of like a meadow, kind of like a, a field of flowers is kind of what I was thinking. And so I can create that in Cinema 4D. And so I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, just a nice little landscape with flowers and grass and uh, some somewhere for them to stand in. Also the sun or the, like the sky, um, that can be done in Cinema 4D as well. And then the robot. Uh, well, I don't have any robots at our house and I can't really draw a robot in Photoshop. And so the robot had to be in Cinema 4D as well. And then finally, the picture of uh, my daughter and the basket. Uh, those needed to be done um, with my own photography. And so I've got a picture of my daughter here. We just went to the basement. We set up a background, uh, just a sheet. That's all it is. It's just a sheet hanging from the ceiling. Um, I got some light set up. And we went and uh, into our garden and we picked out a marigold flower. And so um, just one little stem of a flower here. And I told her to pretend to put it into a basket, you know, pretend her robot is holding the basket. And so this was the, uh, the picture that we got of her. And then I needed a picture of that basket as well. Um, after we modeled for a while, the, uh, the flower kind of broke, which made her a little bit sad. But I told her I would fix it in Photoshop. And so I just needed a picture of the basket. And so we have this picture of the basket as well that we can blend in to the scene. And so now that I've got all of my elements here, um, so I've got her, and this will be in Photoshop, and the basket will be in Photoshop as well. Now that I have all the elements, I know what to do, then I can go ahead and start open up software and bring this to life. So I'm going to go ahead and show the video. It took about two hours, two and a half hours to do this, but I have uh, compressed it to about three minutes. And so I want to show you that video and just kind of give you some commentary um, as um, I'm playing the video. So let me go ahead and hit play now. And you can see I opened up Cinema 4D and I've got a landscape here and uh, I'm just adding some flowers and grass to the landscape. I'm using a plugin called Forester and uh, it's a really cool plugin. You can add trees and rocks and flowers and all kinds of stuff. Um, and that seemed to be the best way to make this landscape. The background, the, uh, the sky and the clouds, that's a picture that I took um, of a lake, a sunset near our house a couple years ago. So I wanted to use that one. And then that, that stick figure that you can see like right in the middle, uh, that's just a placeholder. That's just, I wanted to put him in there just to kind of get an idea of where my daughter's going to go, where the robot's going to go. Um, just kind of get a feel for the overall um, composition of this photo. Uh, but after that, I needed to design the robot. And so the robot was really fun to make. Uh, the cool thing about robots is they are just a lot of basic shapes. They're cylinders and rectangles and cubes and spheres and, and um, discs and stuff like that. They're very basic shapes, um, and, which makes it a lot easier for someone like me to model this. Uh, but just a pretty generic type of um, robot here with a head and body two arms and two legs, uh, pretty basic. Made sure I had that smile on there because sometimes robots are scary. So I wanted to have a smile on this robot to make him look nice and friendly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty simple to do in Cinema 4D, these basic shapes. Added a uh, metal texture onto the robot. So pretty much the entire robot is just that one metal texture. I didn't try to do any fancy colors or, or paint or anything like that. Um, but then after that, I wanted to add a glowing um, type of screen. Uh, to his belly. I don't really know what the screen is for. It's just kind of a last minute thing I wanted to add. Um, just a little glowing blue screen right there on the, um, the surface of his belly. Maybe that's going to be 
you know, something cool that'll be added later to Photoshop. I wasn't sure, but uh, that was how I modeled the, the robot. And I stuck them in those flowers and then I rendered the scene out. Now that I have the scene rendered out, um, I've got uh, a picture of my daughter that needed to be cut out. And so I cut her out and I put her into the scene. I got the basket as well and uh, tried to put her into the scene and blend both of those in as best as I could. Of course, there's a lot of blurry flowers here, so they had to be masked out and uh, had to, to mask out the, the, the foreground flowers so it looks like that they're kind of tucked in the middle of these flowers. Um, and then I just did some lighting, you know, adjustments to, um, uh, you know, my daughter and the robot, you know, just make sure they had that blue light coming out and uh, it was hitting the uh, the front part of my daughter's face and, and clothes and stuff like that, just so that everything blended pretty well. And then a lot of color grading to bring it all together. And uh, that was pretty much it. I mean, it, it was it was probably about 45 minutes of Photoshop work, just getting all of the colors to blend right. Uh, most of the work was done in Cinema 4D, but then blend those two together, and then this is what you get as your final result. But it was it was a fun project. It was uh, really fun to take my daughter's uh, picture and uh, just be able to bring it to life and uh, make a really cool picture. And uh, I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this uh, little walkthrough of how I made this picture. And I hope this encourages you to take your own pictures that uh, maybe you've drawn or your kids have drawn and make something cool with it as well. But guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I will see you again very soon. Thanks guys.